Good morning, everybody. This is Ali here from All Saints Isleworth. Our time of prayer for today is going to be morning prayer. If you want to follow it, you can download the app to your phone or tablet. That's called Daily Prayer by the Church of England. In our service today, we'll be remembering the ministry of the apostles Peter and Paul, who were so instrumental in founding the early Christian church. As we come into God's presence, let's have a moment of quiet to gather our thoughts. Our opening response. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. A prayer of thanksgiving. Blessed are you, creator of all, to you be praise and glory forever. As your dawn renews the face of the earth, bringing light and life to all creation, May we rejoice in this day you have made. As we wake refreshed from the depths of sleep, open our eyes to behold your presence and strengthen our hands to do your will, that the world may rejoice and give you praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. our opening prayer. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you now and forever. Amen. Our psalm for this morning is Psalm 71. We're going to be reading verses 1 to 8. Psalm 71. In you, O Lord, do I seek refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In your righteousness, deliver me and set me free. Incline your ear to me and save me. Be for me a stronghold to which I may ever resort. Send out to save me, for you are my rock and my fortress. Deliver me, my God, from the hand of the wicked from the grasp of the evildoer and the oppressor. For you alone are my hope, O Lord God, my confidence even from my youth. Upon you have I leaned from my birth when you drew me from my mother's womb. My praise shall always be with you. I have become a portent to many, but you are my refuge and my strength. Let my mouth be full of your praise and your glory all the day long. Faithful Lord, living Saviour, in youth and old age, from the womb to the grave, may we know your protection and proclaim your great salvation to the glory of God the Father. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Our Bible reading for today comes from the book of Isaiah, chapter 49. Verses 1 to 6. 
Listen to me, O coastlands. Pay attention, you peoples from far away. The Lord called me before I was born. While I was in my mother's womb, he named me. He made my mouth like a sharp sword. In the shadow of his hand, he hid me. He made me a polished arrow. In his quiver, he hid me away. And he said to me, You are my servant, Israel, in whom I will be glorified. But I said, I have laboured in vain. I have spent my strength for nothing and vanity. Yet surely my cause is with the Lord, and my reward with my God. And now the Lord says, Who formed me in the womb to be his servant, to bring Jacob back to him, and that Israel might be gathered to him, for I am honoured in the sight of the Lord, and my God has become my strength, he says. It is too light a thing that you should be my servant to raise up the tribes of Jacob and to restore the survivors of Israel. I will give you as a light to the nations that my salvation may reach to the end of the earth. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We join in some responses based on some verses from Proverbs chapter 3. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and be not wise in your own sight. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and be not wise in your own sight. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he will make straight your paths. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and be not wise in your own sight. We come now to our time of intercession. I'll pray a number of biddings and allow a short pause for you to pray your own intercessions as you are joining with me. Let us pray. For the unity of the church in witness and proclamation of the gospel. We pray especially for our Christian communities wherever we are watching from. We pray especially for All Saints Isleworth, that even though we are dispersed, we may know that we are one in Christ. And Lord, we ask for your help as we share your love and your light in the communities around us. Let us pray to the Lord. For the peace and stability of all peoples and for the nations and the leaders of the nations. Lord, we pray especially for all politicians at this time. We pray that you will give to the Prime Minister of the UK and his cabinet and all his health advisers wisdom to know how to respond to the COVID-19 virus and how quickly or slowly to release lockdown and reduce social distancing.
Let us pray to the Lord. For places of work, education and leisure. Lord, we thank you that in Isleworth, our primary aged children are having one week back at school each before the summer holidays start in a few weeks' time. We pray for all the teachers teaching at our local schools that you will strengthen and sustain them as they provide lessons for those still homeschooling and as they seek to provide a secure place for children in school. We pray for all our places of work, that our employers might have wisdom to know how to ensure a safe return to work. We pray for new patterns of work due to people working at home. And we ask in particular for all those working at home that they may strike a right balance between work and home life. Let us pray to the Lord. For a blessing on our homes, for our relations and friends and all whom we love. Father, we thank you that we have been able to extend our family bubbles we thank you that we're beginning to be able to meet up with a wider group of family and friends. We pray that as we do that, we will observe the right social distance and enjoy our family gatherings in safety. We pray for those who are still shielding especially those who live on their own, who have no company and are lonely. We pray that you will be with them and help them and comfort them. Let us pray to the Lord. For the sick and suffering and all who minister to their needs, Father, we thank you for the dedication and sacrifice of all our frontline workers, from NHS staff and paramedics, to refuse disposal people, delivery people, and all those who work to provide for our needs. We pray that you will give them courage and strength at this challenging time. We pray for those known to us who are sick and suffering in body, mind or spirit. We pray particularly for those who are in hospital suffering from COVID-19 and especially those who are dying without their family and loved ones around them. Let us pray to the Lord. Let us commend ourselves and all for whom we pray to the mercy and protection of God. The Collect for today. Almighty God, whose blessed apostles Peter and Paul glorified you in their death as in their life, Grant that your church, inspired by their teaching and example, and made one by your spirit, may ever stand firm upon the one foundation, Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. 
Amen. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. And so this day, may the Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you for joining us for our time of prayer today. And do join us on our YouTube channel for other times of prayer each day during the week and for our Sunday worship. Thank you. Take care and have a good day. God bless. Bye.